Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Chris. And today's reaction, we are going to be watching Arrow. We're on uh, season one, episode 12 called Vertigo. And at the very end of the last episode, we, we saw Thea get in a car wreck while she was basically high on a drug. So she's mad at her mom for thinking that she is cheating with Mr. Merlin. Oliver and Diggle came to basically a better understanding of each other and the mission. Without further ado, let's get on to the show. Man, we start right out with this one, don't we? Kill me now and you live. Please, he'll kill me. Whoever you fear, fear me more. Okay, okay. They call him the Count. That's all I know. I swear to God. Her hearing's in a few hours. You think she cares more about some drug lord getting his just desserts or you being by her side when she needs you the most? Why would you do a hearing for a... Hey, we should get going. Go, but... Just don't... I wish Dad were here. I'm here. You should leave now, Thea. You get your client off, and you help your boss avoid dealing with a drug that's sweeping across our city like a plague. Everyone wins except us. The people of Starling City. Your Honor, with all due respect, Miss Queen. Tell him, Judge. Like it or not, you are now the poster child for this menace. Like you promised Walter, you'd always stay faithful to him. I feel it's possession. Off. That's enough. Don't worry. He didn't say possession with intent like to, to be distribute or deal or whatever they call it. Ugh. But does she not realize how serious this is? Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm kind of with him on that one. Get me out of here. I can't. Hey, hi. Looking for Detective Hall. I was told he works in Vice. Oliver? McKenna Hall. Hi. Kira was expecting a middle-aged guy in a bad suit. <laughs> I got McKenna Hall. I lived his surprise. Did some digging and came up with a name. Um, the Count? Oliver, we've known about the Count for months. Oh. I wish this was thicker, but we really don't have much on him. Leave the policing to the police, okay? Okay. Oh, that's gonna bother me. I have to know what she was in now. What a queen want? You need a tailor. You know about the hood guy. He just cornered me, man. The hood guy? I didn't say anything. Oh, I know. You can't divulge secrets you don't know. I've seen it last for days, until finally the heart gives out. One bullet left. The hood. Wow. Coming for me. Interesting. I'm learning you're not much of a morning snuggler. And I'm learning that you don't like to wake up at any hour that ends in a.m. That's true. Yeah. So, so if you're busy being a lawyer all day and I'm managing a nightclub all night, when exactly do we get to see each other? I don't think the judge is willing to move off his position. Taking a hard line against criminals is a platform for his re-election. I need you to talk ah, to your father. Political, of course. He's inside the system, and maybe he cashes in a chip with Judge Brackett, gets him off throwing the book at Thea. Oliver, I don't. I'll see what I can do. But no promises. Thank you. A young girl acting out, engaging in reckless behavior. Does that sound familiar? Laurel, don't go there. Thea, she's <laughs> just like I remember Sarah. That is not how I remember mm. your sister. That's because you remember her the way that you wish she had been, not the way that she actually was. I see Sarah's potential in her, and her flaws too. Yes, Thea made a mistake, but she's been through a lot. She lost a father and a brother. She doesn't need prison. 
she needs help. Like in Afghanistan, left over by the Soviets. Is this Russian owned? This is the not so hidden headquarters for the Starling City chapter of the Bratva. Dickle. Whatever I say, whatever goes down. A wise choice. Ephedrone would be a good investment for you. It's the newest thing. I was thinking vertigo. Newer thing. Tough market, vertigo. Only one seller. I will see what I can do, provided you do favor for me. Mm -hmm. Sure, the good meal. I saved his life. Oh! What did he do? I hope Something they go to I that. I told him not to. Now the favor. Kill this man for me. I mean, he is a killer. Spasiba. What are friends for? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's a neat trick. You're gonna teach me that one day? <laughs> no. Drug dealer. <laughs> He's a captain. And he has money. Are you interested? Hmm. Let's say yes. Sentence of 500 hours of community service and two years of probation. Provisional on the appointment of someone to act in local parentis. In, in local what? It means that the court will appoint an individual to assume responsibility for you. Me. No. I want to ruin mom's life. She's a liar and a cheat. I mean, deal with oh. it. All. You, you can pretend all you want to that she's a saint, but I hate her and she betrayed dad. So you just, you, you're gonna go to jail to spite her? On the Queen's Gambit right before he died, he admitted to me that he failed us. You, me, and Mom. That he wasn't the man he said he was. Ooh. How dare you? She was old enough to know the truth. How are you gonna scold him? Are you kidding me? Endless prostitutes, runaways. The police would find their bodies, puncture marks on their neck, like a vampire. That's actually a cool name. You should not be in such a hurry. And why is that? Well, I am opening a nightclub, and I'd like my customers to have a little... something extra. Well, as it happens, I'm looking to expand my brand. This is where he learned it. <laughs> Bet you that's a hell of a hangover. How you feeling? I feel like I'm getting over the worst hangover of my life. Oh. I'm mad coming from a guy who spent most of his 20s in a hangover. That's really saying something. Oh. The standing is pretty impressive. 
count only got you with half a dose, but you still sweated out a small swimming pool coming down. <sighs> like I said, last night, drug deal gone south. An eyewitness put you at the scene. Whoever he is, he's mistaken. Yeah? I saw you, Oliver. And so I paid a low life with a Russian accent, an obscene amount of money to arrange a meeting. And you get eyes on him? No. All right. Are, are you pressing charges against my son? <sighs> I don't know. That's kind of. That's still kind of sketchy. Hope you don't think I sold you out. No. Just doing your job. What on earth were you thinking? I was trying to help. By running around with the Russian mob and murderous drug dealer? Are you out of your mind? Like you said, we analyzed the vertigo. It's in liquid form, which means it contains water, so maybe we can trace back to where in the city the count is... ...cooking up this garbage. <clears throat> oh. Do you mind stepping away from the window for a moment? I have a little bit of a hangover. Sounds like you need a Bloody Mary and a pretzel. Not the IT department. Actually, my buddy Kevin is starting an energy drink company. He says it's fantastic for curing hangovers, but I... If it's an energy drink, why is it in a syringe? I ran out of sports bottles. Bro, she is seeing right through you. Your BS stories are getting worse. Perfect place. You can't go out there, though, Oliver. You're still suffering the after effects of the vertigo. Did you hear the count? He's taking this drug citywide. If we don't stop him now, this becomes an epidemic. I can stop you from leaving. That is a dangerous game you're playing, Diggle. I don't need the bow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, did we get to see him whoop some ass hand to hand? Yeah. Good God, man. World spinning. He's still a b badass fighter. We're not the only guests. You should have stuck to your depraved elite. I am merely providing labor. <laughs> Freeze! Put down the needle, or I will shoot you. Damn it, Oliver. Put that Juvenile delinquent reporting for duty. <laughs> <laughs> Since you lost your driver's license, I'll pick you up at five. Six. We have a lot of work for her to do. Well, then let's say seven, just to be safe. Is it too late to choose jail? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need standing citizen out of you yet, Speedy. Best Thank nickname you. ever. This will be good for having a role model, somebody better than me. Oh, you're not so bad. And besides, it'll be nice to have her around. He's still critical. I've never seen anyone OD on this much vertigo and live. There's just no way of knowing what kind of damage has been done to his brain and nervous system, or if it's irreparable. You sneaky man. Survive. Been debating whether or not to share this with you for weeks. Can I trust you? I'm not an idiot. You've dropped some fairly ridiculous lies on me, and yet I still feel like I can trust you. <laughs> Something to show you. Oh, she's gonna show him the book?
Where did he get it? From your mom? He said he found it in your house. That it belongs to your mother. Oh, that's heavy for Oliver. Walter thought she was hiding something. Ooh, really, really heavy there at the end with Oliver being told that his mother had the book. I don't know if he ever suspected, but now he's kind of starting to. I think the pieces are starting to come together for him. Pretty solid episode. Uh, I'd have to say my favorite scenes are with him and the, the Bratva. Really cool. And the flashbacks, of course. You know, for some reason, my favorite character in this episode was Detective Lance. He still doesn't like Oliver, but he's at least willing to do something to save an innocent person. Really interested to see where this story goes. But hope you guys liked the show. The reaction, if you did, please try like subscribe all the things oh my god words are hard today i'm gonna get out of here until next time